We're going to talk about extension methods in C Sharp and anonymous extension methods in C Sharp. Extension methods are useful for when you need to add a new method or more to a class without having to change that class. So let's create a program here in LinkPad. We will create a class named person. We'll give it a couple properties. Um, Okay, so now if, just so we can see what's going on here, we'll have a, we'll create a person object. Let's dump that to see what, just to see what's going on. Okay, so this program ha does nothing more than uh, instantiate a person object. Now, if we look at the IntelliSense here, notice how we have the age property and the name property and uh, basic object properties. If we wanted to extend, add a method to this class without having to change this class, or without actually explicitly adding the method to this class, then we would use an extension method. So just to be clear here, if we wanted a um, uh, a method on this existing class. then we can stop that. And so you can see here we're dumping this speak method and uh, LinkPad displays the hello, which is exactly what we expected. We don't want to make a change to the person class, but we do want to add a method to the class. So we create an extension method. That all extension um, methods must be a member of a static class and the actual extension method has to be static as well and here's uh, so you can see the signature other than it being static so far it's the same as the one that we added up here initially but now we have to add this syntax here we have, we have to add this and then we have to define or specify the type that we are extending so here's the person class type that uh, we are extending and then we give it a typical variable name and now let's return some. In the extension method, which is this right here, the key thing is it's got to be in a static class, in a static method. In the parameters we have to include the type that we are extending and then precede the type with the this and then we can create our function and the person variable within the parameter is accessible intelligence and everything so now without even compiling let's go back up to our program and we can see that we have an extension method and in intellisense you can uh, you can see the extension by this little down arrow so now if we speak and then we'll dump it. You can see the output says Frank says hello, which is exactly what we expected it to do. Now in a similar topic would be creating an extension method that works on any type, a generic type. Going back to our, <coughs> our rule here where we have to create, in order to create an extension method, 
we have to define explicitly the type that we are extending. Well, what if we don't know the type that we are extending? We just want to make a generic extension that any type can extend. Let's, the way to do that would be Let's do uh, a non speak so we can see it clearly in the uh, IntelliSense. We add the generic syntax to our the name of our method, and now we add. We still add the this. Put in the generic type. Now, obviously, we can't go person dot name because this anonymous method here extension method doesn't even know about a person type it's a generic type so how can we make it say something says hello some kind of string says hello we can't just say t <coughs> dot name because t the type is makes no sense there's no definition of a name property so what we would do is add to the signature here the, the parameters a string and then we can put name so that means the caller of this anonymous function or method has to explicitly define some type of string if you want to prefix the says hello sentence with some type of name so now you can say the name. So once again, the syntax for a anonymous method would be to, or anonymous extension, would be to have it a member of a static class, like we see here. Create the static method. Give the generic syntax as the type, and then this is all the same it matches here other than we can add as many parameters as we want to make those values accessible within the function so now let's go back up to our program and now we want the person class to call this anonymous method and you can see we have the anon speak extension here the syntax we can ignore this first parameter it's um, it's implied by this type but we can use the string name to give to pass the name so I'm gonna go P name and I'll dump it let's put the ain on run it <coughs> and our program first instantiates a person class gives it a name of Frank and an age of 22 we dump it just so we can see it and that's right here and then we call the uh, extension method called speak f for that person class and it says Frank says hello which is exactly what we'd expect because this is the extension method here and it returns a string that says Frank or the person's name says hello the next line of code calls the anon speak extension method and it passes it the name of the person and so the anonymous uh, extension method returns this name says hello now an interesting thing with the generic method is that this can be called by any thing so let's create a an, on, an anonymous type equals new and we'll just give it a uh, New. Now this is an anonymous type, and you will notice that 
the anon type can call the anon speak anonymous method, but it can't call the speak, <coughs> I'm sorry, extension. This anon anonymous type can call the anon speak extension method because it's a generic extension method. It'll take any type. But it but this anonymous type cannot call this extension method because this extension method is explicit only for person types. So let's call this anon uh, name. Dump that. So now when we get to this line of code, this anonymous type is created and then the anonymous type calls the anonymous speak extension method and we can see the output it says sent Henry says hello which is exactly what we expected it to do let's continue this with some other random example I think this might work we just create a string and we just say uh, hello world now the the string can call the anon speak as well because the anon speak again will take any generic type so now I can go anon speak and I will talk I will pass the string itself which is kinda weird <laughs> and then we'll dump that output is hello world says hello. Uh, 